in this video, I'm going to show you how to file for an EIN and why you need one. I'm Josh from the University of Laverne Small Business Development Center. Here at the SBDC, we provide free one-on-one -on -one consulting and how-to resource videos just like this one, so consider subscribing to our channel. If you own a business and file taxes for yourself or for employees, applying for an employer identification number or EIN is required. The EIN is a nine-digit code assigned to your business and is used to file your business taxes and employees to file their taxes to track their wages. Luckily, this is super easy and free to apply for an EIN with the IRS. So now, let's hop onto the computer and I'll show you how to apply for one. So here we are on the computer, and the first thing we need to do is open up your internet browser. You can use Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Chrome, or Safari to do this, so don't worry about that. Once you open up your browser, you can go to google.com and type in EIN IRS and enter. We'll get a whole bunch of different results, but what we want is the Apply for EIN online link from the IRS. So we'll click on this and go to the site. We'll know when we're in the right place with this irs.gov address and the IRS seal at the very top. Let's scroll down a little and find the Apply Online Now button. You may get a pop-up that says Government Use Only. That just means that this is an official form, so once you apply, this is an official application. So be careful, and click OK. This is the page you want. There are a couple of links to read up on what an EIN is and how it's used. If you're not comfortable doing this form online, there is a link to a paper form, SS-4, to print and mail or fax. We're going to do this online version this time, so let's begin. Head down to begin the application and click Start Application. The one important thing you need to know and understand about this application is that there's no saving. You will need to complete this all in one sitting, but it's not difficult. Our first page is going to be Identity. This is where you select your business structure, and if you don't already know what your business structure is, you should not apply for the EIN. You will need to know what your structure is to select and get the right information. I'm going to apply as a sole proprietor because I'm a single person business and I own everything in the business. Once that's selected, you want to click continue and then you're greeted with another page asking you if you are the true sole proprietor or if you're a household employer hiring a nanny or a butler. I am the sole proprietor and I will be filing the Schedule C. So once you click on this, there's another page that makes absolutely sure you are. But I know I am, so we'll continue. The next page is the reason why I'm applying for the AAN. If you started your business but never got one, you can use banking requirements or if you have employees, you can use that. Since I'm applying for this as a brand new business, I'm going to be choosing this one. And now we get to the actual filling out of the information. The first page has the individual information. This is going to be for the business owner or a third party on their behalf. Once you add your own information, you will need to choose if you own the business or if somebody else is applying on your behalf. And then click continue. Next, we add in the address information. This is going to be for the business location. Add in that information into the form. If you have a home-based business, you will need to put your home address, or for a storefront, you put in that address. You will also need to certify if this is a primary address or if there's an additional mailing address available. Once you click continue, you will need to verify that address and match it with the IRS database. If it suggests a change, use that one 
as long as it's right, and then push Accept Database Version. The final section is to add your business name information. If you're operating under a DBA, you'll put that information here. Otherwise, you can put an LLC or incorporated name. Input all the information you have for the business. Then we'll click Continue. You now find questions pertaining to your business, click All That Apply, and then click Continue. Next, we'll need to choose a category that best defines and describes your business. Since we're a retail store, we'll choose that one and click Continue. The next page will ask you to get a little bit more specific, and you'll only choose one. If there's a choice that doesn't match, you can choose Other and then type in your answer. Then we'll click Continue. This is the final page. Once you choose how to receive your EIN certificate, it'll get delivered to you that way. You can choose to have it mailed to you, or you can create a digital PDF version and save it to your computer or external hard drive and hold on to it. Once you click Continue, you're done. Remember, you need to file your EIN after you set up your business entity, and primarily if you have employees. I hope this helps you on your journey to starting your own business. Question of the day, have you filed your EIN as something other than a sole proprietor? Let me know how your experience was in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get more how-to videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.